Pro Group Management. Workers' Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. A man is behind bars suspected of two separate killings in Las Vegas. Both victims shot to death. The two incidents happening just miles apart in the downtown area. Police say they arrested 42-year-old Jesus Gonzalez in connection with a woman's death last month. It's unclear if they knew each other. Then, nine hours after that shooting, police say a man was found dead after being chased down the street and fatally shot. And concerned parents are calling for CCSD's police reform after an incident at Durango High near the Spring Valley area. Video of a school police officer grabbing a student and pulling him onto the ground. Placing a knee on his back was posted on social media earlier this month. And I find it deplorable that it's not an item on the agenda after a student in your district was violently and publicly assaulted by the very police you claim are there to keep schools safe. What I saw was completely unacceptable, unacceptable and illegal for anyone else, including parents to their own children. Following the incident, Superintendent Jesus Jara previously stated the district would be investigating the facts and hold people accountable for their actions. Meanwhile, the National Action Network is calling for the officer's termination. And the Las Vegas Metro Police Department and the University of Nevada, Reno, are proud to announce a partnership to document the history of black officers and civilians in Southern Nevada law enforcement. Review Journal's Renee Semerar has a glimpse of their stories. That's right, 15 retired black employees of the Metro Police Department are sharing their experiences working for the department as part of the new video project chronicling the contributions of African American men and women to Southern Nevada law enforcement. These interviews will permanently become part of the university's shared history oral archives. He has it all lined up against this wall. Elderly people, everything lined up against the wall at gunpoint. And he had them step and take three steps back and walk to me and get on your hands, get on your knees. And I said, they're having a freaking barbecue, dude. What, what are you doing? You know, of course, there's a time when you have to take people to jail and things like that. Yeah, that comes with the job. but. That wasn't my thing. My thing was all about helping people. Leading the project, Clark County Sheriff Kevin McMahill and retired Assistant Sheriff Greg McCurdy, who say they share similar hope for the video project. Both say they believe this may inspire young African Americans and others to come work for the police department. You can watch all of the interviews at LVRJ.com. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. A Henderson Councilman's lending business is being sued facing allegations of affiliating with a Native American tribe to skirt state laws on interest rate caps. The suit accuses Dan Shaw's company, Green Arrow Loans, of offering loans with interest rates above 700 percent with a Big Valley band of Pomo Indians business in Northern California. In response, Shaw's spokesperson says his companies are service agents for the tribe and do not make the loans. In Weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. If you're heading to Mount Charleston this weekend, gear up for some winter weather enclosures. Experts recommend preparing to install snow chains, have a four-wheel drive vehicle, or snow tires. Once Kyle and Lee Canyons reach capacity, law enforcement will restrict entrance, so leave early. Now to the Las Vegas Valley, a cloudy and muggy evening in the 50s. Temps should sink into the 40s overnight with some isolated sprinkles. A storm is brewing for Saturday, highs in the 60s with a 90% chance of rain and winds blowing around 25 miles per hour. A brief break from the clouds on Sunday before the gray skies and gusts return on Tuesday. More precipitation on Wednesday. By Thursday, you can look forward to the return of sunshine. Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. While there might be some interest on the part of Aaron Rodgers as it relates to the Raiders, a little skeptical on the interest of the Raiders in Aaron Rodgers. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers, uh, ideally in a vacuum when you think about him, definitely an upgrade uh, at quarterback. But the cost to go get him in draft capital, the cost to pay him, he's due $60 million in 2023, and the limited amount of time that he's going to commit to the Raiders, remember it's been a year-to-year -year ordeal uh, with, with Aaron Rodgers and the Packers these last few years, equals a major drag on how the Raiders can go about building a championship caliber roster. So for those reasons, I think they're going to be out on Aaron Rodgers. 
in health sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. How do you make plant-based meat alternatives delicious? Bloomberg estimates plant-based proteins could make up nearly 8% of the global protein market by 2030, with more alternatives including Beyond Meat and Impossible Foods. Here are some ways to make faux meat taste even better. Add more flavor with extra seasonings and marinades. Get saucy with your favorites, whether that's marinara, teriyaki, or ranch. And don't feel guilty about adding heart-healthy oils, such as extra virgin olive oil. Now for your sports update. The Golden Knights will host the Dallas Stars at 7 p.m. tomorrow at T-Mobile Arena. It will be Pete DeBoer's second trip back to Las Vegas after his Dallas Stars beat the Golden Knights 4-0 earlier this year. It's the start of a pretty daunting stretch for the Knights where they have the Stars, the reigning defending Stanley Cup champion Colorado Avalanche, and the Carolina Hurricanes and New Jersey Devils up in their next four games. It's going to really determine how this team is situated in the playoff picture. You can read more about the Knights' approach at ReviewJournal.com. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Vegas Vipers are three-point favorites over the D.C. Defenders on Saturday in their first XFL home game at Cashman Field. The total is 34.5 at the Westgate Superbook, where Vegas is minus 160 on the money line and D.C. is plus 140. In entertainment sponsored by Arizona Charlie's has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Coming soon, star TV chef Martin Yan will open his first Las Vegas restaurant. Check out the Review Journal's exclusive lunch discussion with the James Beard award-winning chef on the restaurant last May. And somebody told me, went, Chef Yan, why don't you do something? To come to Las Vegas and do something to represent, to promote traditional Chinese, traditional Asian. So that's the reason why I decided, ah, maybe it's time for me. MY Asia is set to debut March 13th in the newly rebranded Horseshoe Las Vegas. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News, streaming live on your OTT device. See you on Monday for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.